hi guys, Achi Luxury, Achi Luxury channel, and I'm in Hong Kong, Hong Kong. And uh, I gotta tell you fuckers, this is not a cheap place to be. No, Hong Kong is absolutely fucking expensive. And uh, I gotta tell you, you burn through cash, burn through cash faster than you can withdraw it from the ATM. So, uh, it's, it's pretty, I gotta tell you the truth there, even though Blue Velvet paid for the airfare, the hotel, I'm churning through the cash. So uh, I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna slow down a bit there because it's burning, it's burning. So uh, what I've done is I've taken the ferry over, I took the ferry over, we went the ferry uh, from uh, uh, near the Peninsula, Nathan Road, the Peninsula Hotel. I've taken the ferry over to the convention center. This is central, uh, Wei Chi, and it's it's maids day off. It's maids, that's all the Filipino, the Indonesian maids and servants, it's their day off. So this place is absolutely, positively, 100% chocker fucking blocker. Chocker fucking blocker. And uh, man, I gotta tell you, it is so, so busy. It's busy, it's, it's hustling, it's bustling. It's just uh, happening here in Hong Kong. And uh, expensive, it's overpriced, it's nasty. Electrical goods, very, very dear. Clothing, expensive. Uh, everything is expensive and dear and vicious and nasty. Um, it's a mean, nasty Asian city. This is one fucking nasty place to be. Um, I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Hustle, bustle, heaps and heaps of Rolexes, heaps of stock, but fuck me dead, do they know how to charge? Prices are very similar to Australia, except in Australia, if you leave Australia, you can claim the GST back. You can get a bit more discount. I went to a Rolex AD on Rolex Steel Sports, no discount, on Gold Sports, solid gold, 5% off is all they'll give you. Uh, the maximum they will give you is 5% on day dates. Oyster Perpetuals, it's, uh, it's really quite mean, it's savage, it's vicious, it's expensive. Uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, expensive, overpriced. I, I don't know if there's any, you know, it used to be such a hub. Camera equipment was cheap. I bought a camera, uh, yeah, I was looking at some camera equipment. Expensive, expensive, expensive. No bargains here. Uh, overpriced. A lot of trickery. Trickery and sh you know, they're just, they're just dishonest fuckers. Went into camera store, you haggle a price, then he says, oh, how about a new one? And you think, what the fuck? I thought I was asking for a new one. I was ask wasn't asking for a second hand piece of shit. So it's, it's, it is vicious. It's nasty. No bargains in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has absolutely no bargains at all. Everything's expensive. Heaps and heaps of watches, all at crazy exorbitant prices. Uh, there's some cheap things there, I saw a two-tone GMT, but they've been polished to an inch of its life. Completely fucking over-polished turd. It's tough, it's mean, it's vicious. Uh, honkers, would I come here again? Look, it's a great place to visit, very expensive. Everything's dear, it's face, you got it's connections, who do you know? Uh, those limited edition watches, very, very impossible to get. So it's, Hong Kong is, it's an unfriendly place. It's, it's nasty. It's very nasty, shitty place to be. Would I come here again? Well, on a free gig, yes, but it choose the cash. Choose the cash, Archie Luxury, signing out in Hong fucking Kong. Okay, we cut that now, Arch.